Thank you so much. Great to be back at Finnovate. Uh, my name is Chris Larson. I'm CEO of OpenCoin. OpenCoin is the company that's building uh, the Ripple uh, network. Uh, again, before uh, uh, OpenCoin, I was CEO of uh, Prosper, a peer-to-peer -peer lending company, and then before that, CEO of uh, eLoan, which was an online lender. So a lot of you may have heard about uh, Bitcoin. It's been in the news quite a bit uh, lately. Uh, Ripple is really a second generation of the Bitcoin concept. And uh, as many of you know, Bitcoin and Ripple are really two things. Uh, they are a new global currency, um, what we call a math-based currency. Um, but maybe even as uh, more importantly, they are uh, global free payments networks. And what we've tried to focus in uh, with Ripple is that second part. Uh, what we're trying to build is a global payment network that allows anyone, anywhere in the world, to send any currency basically for free, uh, that is irreversible, uh, is so that you can make payments much more efficient. So we look at the currency that we've created in Ripple really as more of an enabler of a new global payment system. So uh, let me show you briefly uh, what that uh, looks like. So here I have uh, two uh, wallets. Uh, these are open source uh, applications that tie into Ripple, which is a distributed open source, uh, will be open sourced protocol. Uh, in this one wall, uh, wallet, you can picture this as the sender, and the second wallet, a, the receiver of a payment. Could be a merchant, could be a friend. You'll notice in this uh, first wallet that I've got a number of different currencies. Again, Ripple is multi-currency. Um, so let's start off with Ripple. Rip, ripples are the native currency of the Ripple network. They're analogous to Bitcoin in that they are currencies without a central authority. Uh, so the amount of those currency can never be changed by any human. It's simply based on a math equation. There can never be any more of them. They therefore can never be uh, debased. Um, and they can be sent to anybody on the Ripple network uh, without counterparty risk. So if I want to go ahead and send Ripples um, to my friend, uh, the other uh, uh, wallet, I'll go ahead and send 10 Ripples and go ahead and confirm that transaction. Now the uh, distributed system is going through a process of consensus. It just reached consensus, so that payment now has been made. That per payment is permanent. It cannot be reversed, so merchants uh, will like that. And again, there's no central authority behind that. Um, let's say I want to, uh, well, let me show you in my wallet, I've got some other currencies. I want to sh send another one. Um, notice that I've also got Bitcoin in my Ripple wallet. Um, again, Ripple is multi-currency, and it's interoperable to Bitcoin. So you can use your uh, Ripple wallet, you can use the Ripple network to also send Bitcoins. Uh, let me show you how that works real briefly. So again, I'll send my friend, this time a payment in Bitcoin. I'll choose a small amount because Bitcoins are expensive. And it's going to calculate uh, paths. And as you can see, I've got a number of currencies I can send. I'm going to go ahead and send Bitcoin. My friend will receive Bitcoin confirm that transaction. Systems going through a process of consensus, uh, once again, reached consensus. So what I just did basically is I sent Bitcoin off the Bitcoin blockchain. So instead of waiting 10 minutes uh, that you, you must in the, the Bitcoin paradigm, uh, I sent Bitcoins uh, instantly. Um, what if my friend said, well, look, I don't like any of these new math-based currencies, Ripple or Bitcoin. Uh, I operate in dollars, just send me a dollar. Well, I can do that because I have a number of currencies, including dollars, in my wallet. I'll go ahead and send my friend one dollar. Again, we are uh, totally multi-currency. You notice it's going it's to calculate a variety of options that I can send it in. So the merchant's going to get a dollar, and I can send whatever I want. So maybe uh, I do actually uh, want to use my XRP, my ripples. I'll go ahead and send... Uh, ripples. My friend will get a dollar. It's going through again a process of consensus. And it did clear. So my friend received the dollar I sent ripples. Everybody uh, is happy in this situation. How did that happen? Well, it's because Ripple has a built in, maybe the world, world's first, distributed currency exchange. So anybody in the world can put a bid ask on any currency pair from any issuer uh, as they please. And I'll show you a little bit more on how that uh, looks. As you uh, may have seen, uh, when I was calculating other currencies, it was trying to find a pathway. Um, Ripple, uh, ripples are the native currency. They don't need pathways. But any other currency, including Bitcoin, needs gateways and pathways. 
And I know this is a complicated concept, but essentially that uh, looks like uh, what you're seeing right here, which is a, is a gateway. Let me bring this up one more time. Okay, so that's a gateway with pathways. And like any financial network, uh, you can send a payment to anybody uh, who has a trust relationship with that uh, particular financial network. And this can be expanded, so I can, I can expand that uh, to see what the other trust paths of other networks are. You can kind of picture these as two separate payment networks. And of course, then, when I'm making a payment, let's go ahead and put half a dollar in here. I'll make a payment in this network in dollars. I'll go ahead and pay that in Swiss francs. And you should see that uh, payment move between these networks. And there it goes. So that makes sense. Just like any payment uh, network, uh, if you have a trust path, you can make a payment. But what if there was no trust path between these two payment networks? In this example, uh, there is no direct uh, connection. Um, that's not a problem uh, in, in Ripple. And this is maybe the biggest uh, advantage of the Ripple system, is that it federates the payment systems of the world. So I can go ahead and execute a payment between these networks in a currency that does not have a direct uh, trust path. And go ahead and do that. You should see that clear. And there it goes. So we think that's maybe the biggest opportunity with Ripple. It federates the world's payment systems, and that's what we're particularly excited about. So uh, we are actively looking for partners. We're looking for gateway partners. We're also looking for software developers that can develop other applications on the Ripple network. It's an open protocol. We don't charge fees to use our system. You don't have to license anything with us. Look at Ripple like HTTP for money. Thank you very much.